Scott Barnes loves driving his electric car, but he doesn't love the tax he pays for it. I think it's a major disincentive for people to buy an electric car. Victoria's road user charge makes EV motorists pay about two and a half cents for every kilometre travelled and was designed to match the fuel excise paid by petrol powered drivers. Today, the High Court found it was unconstitutional. It's a great day for electric vehicle policy in Australia. The landmark ruling brings to an end a two year legal battle fought by Victorian electric car owners. Shock, uh, amazement, disbelief, you name it. In that time, the state's electric vehicle sales rose from less than 1% to 7% of all new car sales. It's just a, a cash grab. So it made no sense and there was no argument in my mind that it was, it was wrong, it was unfair. It was a fair charge. It was a charge that meant that everybody paid their share of the uh, cost to the, uh, the road network. Every state and territory supported the Victorian tax in submissions to the High Court. Today's decision now raises concerns it could expose other state-based levies to constitutional challenges. I don't have easy answers. This ruling has caught everybody by surprise. New South Wales and Western Australia had both announced their own incoming EV taxes, which now look certain to be abandoned. The lingering questions are whether the tax will return in a new form, potentially with federal government support, and what's next for Victorian EV owners. The government should refund the tax and they should go further. They should be introducing subsidies for people who want to switch to electric vehicles. This is a government stuff up of the highest order and it's something we've come to expect from the Labor government over the last nine years. A credit won't cut it. The Victorian government says it will need to seek legal advice about potential refunds. Harrison Tippett, ABC News.